I want to say a little something about Linebacker 2, also known as the Christmas bombing. It began 18 December 1972 and lasted until 29 December, but primarily Air Force B-52s and Navy carrier aircraft for the first time carried out a sustained bombing campaign against strategic military North Vietnamese targets in and around Hanoi and Haiphong, the most heavily defended environment in the world. The ship that you see on the screen is a Kitty Hawk, and she was the flagship of that operation. At the end of those 11 days, we had lost 26 aircraft and 75 airmen, but treatment for the POWs, POWs was drastically improved the North Vietnamese returned to the Paris Peace Talks, and the POWs became, began returning home six weeks later on February 12th. Uh, Captain Jack, who uh, Dan Pedersen uh, uh, referred to a little while ago, Jack, uh, you were there in 72, obviously. Uh, do you remember anything about uh, the bombing, the Christmas bombing, when you were there? Yes, uh, I don't see how I can forget it. 18th of December, I was in a, a large cell with about 40 other POWs, and uh, we had just tucked ourselves in for a long winter's nap. And uh, all of a sudden, we had we heard uh, rocket uh, missiles going off and everything, and B-52s were coming in. And uh, one of my cellmates was. Uh, Air Force pilot uh, Tim Wells, 18th of December, happened to be his birthday. And we turned to him and said, God damn, we didn't know you were going to have a birthday party here. <laughs> and uh, the B 52s came in, and the bombing, it was so close to the prison that we were actually, your, the impact of, on your nervous system. You involuntarily were shaking like this. The plaster was coming down from the ceiling and in our cells and everything like that. And I remember, I don't know which, which one of us said, gee, we hope they know where this prison is because it was, it was uh, Fourth of July, New Year's Eve, everything all rolled into one. It was, a, of course, we started, when we realized what it was, we stood up in our cell with our chair, which uh, the guards, uh, they're very disapproved. Now, Vicki Zabel, uh, she, well, tell us what you, tell us, tell us what, why we, I touched you Well, I um, received this bracelet. Uh, we had a kind of a fundraiser where I was, mm -hmm. Fundraiser where I lived in Olympia, Washington. Um, I was in Junior Women's Club, and we sold these bracelets um, as a fundraiser for our wonderful people that were serving for us. And I, you know, wore it for ages, and it's been with me for quite a while. And, and my, well, on my bracelet, it's a lieutenant, <laughs> and it's, he, he's been called many names. He's been called Jack, John, Fingers, but I always called him my guy, and his name is Lieutenant Jack Inch. So first, this is the first time you guys have ever met, correct? Yes, tonight. tonight. We're newfound friends after 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Brian C. Uh, Brian, what, Brian, why don't you uh, and Gail come on up here, please? Well, I just sat down. Did you anything about the Christmas fun? No. Yeah. It was, uh, like Jack said, uh, I don't know, Jack is what, 20 feet away from me or something? Uh, it was pretty scary, really. Um, it's a little different when you're on the ground and this stuff's going off. And the ground panders know all about that. When you're dropping them, it's very impersonal. But when you're on the ground, it's 
a bigger deal <laughs> in a lot of ways. So yes, uh, it was scary, but it was also, these guys were serious. Those guys were serious. They're pounding the hell out of us, and they were. And yet the big guns were going off all around us, because the big guns were near the POW camps. So they couldn't be taken out. They're afraid to blow us up, knocking out a gun. So it was a lot going on, but overall, once we figured out we might live through it, it was pretty, pretty exciting, really. And it was pretty bad when they knocked down a D-52 every once in a while, which they did. And I won't go into the details of that, but that was pretty ugly. Six guys, big airplane. So. I don't know what else to say about it. Everything got better after that is not